me and my management, we felt that we wanted to do something different than doing shows where I turn up with uh, my CDs and do like a normal basic DJ set. Epic kind of st started to form back then and, and we've been working for the last year and a half on all the aspects of it. No one really knew what to expect. They knew that it was going to be something dramatically different from when they normally come and see me. And seeing all the feedbacks and the comments, people were just blown away by it. And I mean, so were we. I didn't really see it because I, I kind of stood in the middle of it. But uh, seeing the footage uh, from YouTube and from our own camera crew and, and stuff like that now afterwards, it, it, it looked amazing. We wanted something visual to enhance the music that I make and the music that I play out. And I think um, with Epic, it kind of goes hand in hand with the music and it just works so great. I, th I think these days, DJs sell out arenas just like a rock band or pop stars or whatever do. So I, I guess the term superstar G DJs it's one of them people that has that kind of a following, you know, that they, they, they're almost like rock stars. If you asked me that question maybe five or ten years ago, uh, I would probably answer differently, but I think the scene is not really kind of country-based anymore. I would say 80 or 90 percent of all the hype and all the music comes from the internet. Instead of saying there's a typical country somewhere, I would just say it's just one place now and it's online. <laughs> <laughs>